this installation. The brake tear lights are in the rear light housing. We'll begin by opening the trunk. There's an access panel to reach the bulbs. Pull out the panel and you can reach the bulbs. Turn the socket counterclockwise to remove it. Remove the incandescent bulb by pushing it in and turning it counterclockwise. Line up the tabs on the bulb with the slots in the socket. Install the bulb and push it in and turn it clockwise to lock it. If the bulb doesn't go all the way in, turn it 180 degrees and reinstall it. Test the LED, both the tail light and the strobe brake light. Line up the tabs on the socket with the slots in the housing. Install the socket back into the housing and turn it clockwise to lock it. Slide the back of the access panel in first, then push in the edges. Fold it slightly to install the front. Now repeat those steps on the other side. This car is missing the access panel for the passenger side. Turn the socket counterclockwise to remove it. Remove the incandescent bulb by pushing it in and turning it counterclockwise. Line up the tabs on the bulb with the slots in the socket. Install the bulb and push it in and turn it clockwise to lock it. Test the LED, both the tail light and the strobe brake light. When we test the bulb, we discovered an error code on the dashboard. To remedy the error code, we'll install a 32 ohm 5 watt resistor. For this, we'll need a pair of pliers. We'll tap into the black ground wire and the black wire with a red stripe for the brake lights. Open up the T-tap to make the installation easier. Slide one T-tap onto the black wire. And the other T-tap onto the black and red wire. Install one end of the resistor into the open end of the T-tap. Squeeze the metal tab with some pliers and close the cap. Now install the other end of the resistor into the open end of the other T-tap. Squeeze down the metal tab and close the cap. The resistor is now installed parallel to the solid black and black and red wires. Reinstall the LED bulb and test it. The tail and brake lights are working and we know the resistor is working because it's getting warm to the touch. We'll use some zip ties to secure the resistor out of the way. This resistor is safe to be next to plastic or wires. We've installed the resistor in parallel to the red and black and solid black wires on the driver's side. The error code is gone. The new strobe LED bulbs are much brighter than the incandescent bulbs. And the strobe feature will help our car get noticed when stopping.